They don't, they're not exactly sure how these guys got in. All right, there was a back door, we saw a picture of it, and there was a bathroom window. And the bathroom window, they almost ruled out, saying it was too high and too small for these folks to get in. So someone might have left that back door open. Again, we goes back to the girlfriend. But figuring out how they get in, I think, might be a real key to this case. Sounds like they haven't really been able to figure that out or use that information to really help the case. Well, you know, they there are only two options to get in, according to the detectives. One is through the window, one's through the back door. The window is not an option. No one's sliding in through a window that only opens six inches. So it is the back door. But then you come down to, did someone open the back door, leave it unlocked? Was it left unlocked intentionally or unintentionally? And if these people do come in, I mean, this is a pretty cold-blooded murder. They came in, they brought supplies, they had a gun, execution-style killing. does not seem like the first rodeo for these guys. So, you know, would they be wearing gloves and masks and, and making it so that they were not going to leave prints or DNA? So I, I'm not sure, unless they, unless they have evidence from the entry location, which it seems like they do not, I don't know that that's going to help. Uh, actually tie them to this crime.